welcome to the Not So Perfect Homestead. So we are out here getting our garden ready. Um, this is our big garden. I have a little bitty so-called kitchen garden up at the house um, where I am doing seed starting for my very first time to do seed starting. Um, I've always called myself, what is that? What is that? It smells good. Lighter. Oh, it's like So, I've always called myself the Black Thumb Gardener because everything I do does not turn out. Um, but my seedlings are actually sprouting this year and I'm like so excited, so ready to get um, my little kitchen garden started. And um, we're excited about getting potatoes and corn and squash and zucchini. Um, Brussels sprouts, all kinds of stuff out here in the bigger garden. Um, so we'll With the see. Assistance of the not black thumb gardener. Yeah, that's the not black thumb gardener. But hey, there are things coming up in my house where, where I'm seed starting, so I'm so excited. Obviously, I don't have a black thumb. There has been some prayer over these seeds. Like, I have prayed that my seeds would come up. My daughter has prayed that my black thumb would turn to a green thumb. So, you know what? The Lord is good, man. So, Casey and I just took up the silage tarp, um, which he put down about five weeks ago. Um, you can see where we're starting to till here. Actually, our neighbor's starting to till for us. Um, but what he did is he actually took some of our compost, about how big of an area? five bucket loads of our compost, um, 20 by 100 foot silage tarp, 20 by 100 foot space, covered the ground with our compost. And when we remove the tarp, you can actually see the tarp down there. When we re remove the tarp, this is what the ground looked like. Um, pretty weed free um, area. We have a few things trying to come up right there, but pretty weed free. Um, and then after it's tilled, you can see how beautiful and rich this soil is. So the next step then would be to do the rows. And I think we're gonna start with planting our potatoes oh he wants me to show you the apple trees they look beautiful they're blooming um, in the past couple years we've gotten one or two apples off of the trees which they are delicious Anna apples Anna and Causey apples that's kind of what grows well here in Mississippi um, but you can see all the blooms on them this year beautiful Spring is coming. Oh, he wants you to see the satsumas. They're doing well too. Which this this satsuma tree was loaded last year. So um, you can see all the little buds. Beautiful blooms on our apple trees. So exciting. just about on the top of the ground. Um, I think I'm gonna try to cook those up for lunch with some onions and carrots. Maybe throw in some deer sausage. Beautiful radishes. I love spring. I'm gonna just walk down here to where the tarp ended, just so you can see how weed free it clearly was. It really worked. And then you can see where the tarp ended and we're just tilling this up. Still looks great, looks good. But you can see a lot of green in there, right? 
Um, it also doesn't look as rich or as dark of soil since we put compost down first over here. That is just some beautiful soil, especially for Mississippi. Look at that. South Mississippi. South Mississippi. That's right. This ain't no Delta soil. Although that would be nice. That is beautiful. taking the red potatoes, putting them cut side down, eyes up, and then covering them up. Okay, so as you can see, this is our um, end result for our potatoes and our onions. We got about 200 foot of potatoes in the ground, which is about 200 potato eyes. And then we got about 100 onions in the ground. Um, we have some other rows here and we'll have, we'll also have rows in between these rows in which we're gonna possibly do corn. Um, we know that we're gonna be doing some tomatoes out here. We have a little bitty spot over there, if you can see it, um, where we'll do something. We have Brussels sprouts. Um, I'm beginning to think that this space is not big enough for all the things that we have started in the house and all the things we are yet to start, but You can't see him because of the sun. But he also said peppers. Yes, of course, we've got peppers um, and squash. And cute, of course, we have cucumbers and zucchini. But anyways, so this is what we've got started. I hope that this is an inspiration to you to get started on something, even if it's just a bucket of flowers or a bucket of tomatoes. Um... I'm excited about feeding my family from the things that we get out here and the things that we get out of my little kitchen garden this year and sharing that with friends and family as well. So 